In this video, we are going to solve very important model of one gate problem related to compensators. So, here they given the transfer function of two compensators. So, this is transfer function of one compensator, this is second one. So, by observing the transfer functions of given compensators, we need to give a statement which compensator is which type. So, that means C1 is lead compensator, C2 is lag compensator, this first statement, which statement is correct that we need to ensure here, that is it. So, C1 is lead, C2 is lag, C1 is lag, C2 is lead, both C1, C2 are lag compensators and both C1, C2 are lead compensators. So, we need to ensure the statement, so that means which statement is correct, that statement we need to opt for this question. So, here before getting into this, I want to consider lag compensator as well as lead compensator. So, either that is lag compensator or lead compensator, the general transfer function of compensator we are considering as S plus Z by S plus P, S plus Z by S plus P. As this is lag compensator, the output of lag compensator is having phase lag, lag means negative. In lead compensator, for example, if we are using lag compensator in a network, so the output of that network is going to lag by some degrees because of that lag compensator. If you are using lead compensator in a network, the output of that network is going to lead some angle by actual because of using this. So, here that phase we need to find out how much phase this is lagging, how much phase this is leading. So, as this is lag compensator, the phase lag must be negative. So, that means phase of GC of S must be negative. Here, phase of GC of S, phase of this transfer function must be positive. So, here we will indicate this as P by Z is less than 1, we will indicate like this. The phase, negative phase we will indicate pole by 0 is less than 1 or Z by P is greater than 1. So, in this case P by Z is greater than 1, Z by P is less than 1. Now, here in case of lag compensator, you are considering like this, this transfer function you are considering like this, S plus 1 by Z divided by S plus 1 by alpha Z, S plus 1 by Z divided by S plus 1 by Z divided by S plus 1 by alpha Z, where P is equivalent to Z by alpha. So, in P place you are writing Z by alpha, after taking 1 by Z in place of Z, you are going to consider like this. Or if you are having any confusion, in so many analysis I used same thing, so that is why to take out your confusion in this problem, I am writing like this, P is equivalent to Z by alpha for this, P is equivalent to Z by beta for this. So, that means alpha is equivalent to Z by P, alpha is equivalent to Z by P means it is greater than 1, alpha is greater than 1 for lag compensator, P is equivalent to Z by beta. Or if you want to take beta here, you can take, no problem. In analysis, I given like this, that is why I am changing. The videos of lag and lead compensators are having, for lead I considered alpha, for lag I considered beta. Consideration is not at all important, but analysis is very important. So, here Z by beta, for example, P is equivalent to Z by beta. So, beta is equivalent to Z by P as Z by P greater than 1, beta is greater than 1, beta is always greater than 1. So, here Z by P is less than 1, so here alpha is equivalent to Z by P, this is less than 1, alpha is always less than 1, this is the thing we need to 
get from lag compensator and lead compensator in one of the problems i given also one of the problems previously we discussed uh, as gate previous problem on this uh, compensators also there i mentioned alpha less than 1 for lead compensator beta greater than for 1 for lag compensator this is the reason because of lagging this is negative negative indicates pole by 0 less than 1 so that implies 0 by pole greater than 1 for lead so this must be positive positive means pole by 0 greater than 1 0 by pole less than 1 so as you are taking 0 by pole as alpha that is less than 1 so that is the reason so now here here we given with two equations so here when i am considering p is equivalent to z by beta z by beta so i am just replacing z by beta so when analyzing the system i am writing in place of z i am writing 1 by t previously in analysis you used to take 1 by z if you want to take 1 by z that's okay if you are having confusion to take 1 by z consider 1 by t you can take another variable so s plus in place of z 1 by t already beta is there so t beta like that here also so here the transfer function turns to so here s plus 1 by t divided by s plus 1 by alpha t so that is equivalent to s t plus 1 by alpha s t plus 1 so here st plus 1 by beta st plus 1 so this is the transfer function for lag this is the transfer function for lead so whatever it may be transfer functions are similar here beta here alpha whatever it may be if the value here is greater greater than 1 then we can take it as lag the value here is less than 1 so you can take it for lead compensator you can see i am going to solve this one i am going to solve this one into this form so 10 is plus 10 so or you can take common of 10 here then what you will get 10 into s plus 1 divided by so here i am having so 10 if i take in 10 as common then s by 10 means 0.1 s plus 1 so 10 10 gets cancelled if i compared with any one of the equation then t is equivalent to 1 t is equivalent to 1 and uh, t or z in previous analysis you consider t as z don't confuse t is equivalent to 1 and here beta t is equivalent to 0.1 from here from this value beta is equivalent to 0.1 by 1 0.1 by 1 means 0.1 so when you got 0.1 it's less than 1 less than 1 means this is not beta this is alpha we need to compare with this equation when when we are comparing we don't know whether we are going to get a 0.1 or 2 or 3 when once you got that value then you came to know this is less than 1 whatever factor here is there that is less than 1 so this is of lead compensator why because you got value whatever factor multiplication factor is there that is less than 1 so that means this in this case you are having alpha less than 1 so this is lead compensator Coming to here, same analysis if you want to do for this, for C2, what will happen? S plus 10 divided by, here I want to take common of 10. As usual, what you done for this problem, I am doing, doing in numerator. So, that means if I take in 10 as common, so 0 0.1 S plus 1 divided by 10 into S plus 1. So, 10, 10 gets cancelled. And here if you see, so this is equivalent to the resultant one is, resultant one is 0.1 s plus 1 by s plus 1. Then you can compare with this equation. So if you compare with this equation, that means, so this is T s plus 1 by beta T s plus 1. If you compare with this equation, then you are getting T is equivalent to 0.1 
and beta t is equal to 1. Now you know t value then beta is equal to 1 by 0.1. 1 by 0.1 means it is equal to 10. So whatever beta or alpha is there you are getting greater than 1. So that is definitely beta not alpha. So as this value whatever value is there if that is greater than 1 that can be considered as beta. So this is lag compensator 1. For lag compensator only you are getting beta greater than 1 beta or this value. So you can see the analysis alpha and beta analysis is same but condition is different. When you are getting greater than 1 condition you can consider that as alpha. When you are getting greater than condition that you can consider that as beta. When you are getting that value less than 1 then you can say that is lead compensator. When you are getting greater than 1 then you can say that is lag compensator. So C2 is lag, C1 is lead. So option A will suits for this problem. This is given for 2 marks in 2008.